So um, I just came up with something that I wanted to share with you because I've been thinking about this for a while, but I finally did it. I finally did it. What do you think about this? Tabletop rug golf. Check it out. So I've always had this idea of putting the slope base on a table, but I've just never done it until right now. And so I've never hit a ball up to a table. It's going to be an experiment. I thought I'd take you folks along with me. So um, just to make it more interesting, I'm, I'm going to let the dice decide what hole I'm going to play here. It's going to be an interesting way to describe this because it's, I don't know, three and a half feet up in the air. So let's play this hole right here. Five, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And then slope is five, which is, I should leave a little more room here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So here, and the six means it's high. So this is the first hole we're going to play on a tabletop. Let's give it a shot. So this is all pretty easy to do. Just set up the mat. I'm going to, I'm going to set it about, about here, I guess. Move the chairs over a little bit. Push this over about as far as I can. Get the balls. Already counted. Nine balls with the score. I mean, you never know. I might get a good score right off the bat. Might as well, might as well play the game. Every time you play a hole, I think, um, I think I'm going to go with a 60 degree on this one. But every time you play a hole, you can post it, and that basically becomes that you know that record for that hole. And, you may hold the world record for points in a hole, like this one. Whatever points I get, I'm going to hold, hold up the record here because no one else has ever done it before. So anyway, so here we go. Should be interesting. I have to tell you, this hole is crazy with that slant going like that. And you can't even see it from here. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh stop, stop, stop. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> I think this is the right club. I have to go more to the right. Oh, he hit the ceiling. So that, that doesn't count. He hit the ceiling. <laughs> My best shot. I guess there's advantages to being with houses with taller ceilings. Get up. Oh, God. This game can be so tough. It's so hard to get close to that tin cup when it's like that. So, this one doesn't count because it hit the ceiling. Six balls off. So, that's plus 12. Plus 13, plus 13, plus 13, 13 over. That's a, uh, after what you did, see the double bogey or triple bogey. So, there's a moral to this story. Practice. I've been doing this, this tin cup business so much, I haven't been playing this game in really months. And it's showing. I don't like that. So I'm going to give him another shot here. Get some more balls. I was taking them out of here. It's nice to have extra balls so you don't pick them up all the time. You can just go, I'll go get these all at once. And also the other thing which I like to have is I just have extra balls and I've got a little basket. You can buy it through us, but you can pick these up anywhere. Heck, you can use anything as a basket. And I just have those so I, I don't pick up all the balls every time I'm going to do it. So it just makes it easier. Nice to have lots of these balls. You can always buy more. So I think, I think the 60, I'm going to give this one a shot here.
Oh, yes, man. <laughs> Touching it. Tin cup, baby. So now the rules say I can go get that ball and put it in the tin cup trophy ball holder before I take my next shot. So now I come in and get the tin cup ball. Put it over here in the ball, tin cup ball trophy holder. People sometimes ask me what the T is for in the tin cup trophy ball holder, and that's for a double tin cup. If you get it in the tin cup, that's where you put it, keep track of it. That's minus six points. There's also, there's another hole back here for another T. If you get two balls and nine holes into the tin cup, that would be amazing. I've done it like four times and all the times i played, it's like in the hole in one. Um, if you get it twice in nine balls, that's amazing. If you get three, I'm not going to believe you. So, anyway, that's it for that. Let's get back to it. This is all about a game of concentration. After you get a tin cup, you have to move, you have to get back in the game. Tin cup, baby! Woo! Gotta love that stuff. That should, that, that should be there. That's awesome. That's so cool. Two in a row. That is concentration, baby. Oh! That's it. Gotta concentrate. concentration. So anyway, one, two, three, four, two tin cups, three balls off. So that's um, three balls off is plus six. Right here is plus six. These are all minus two. So that's plus six plus four plus two zero. Two tin cups minus six. That's just short of a birdie. I can't believe I blew it with those last shots. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is the new uh, tabletop tin cup. This would work up a flight of stairs, you know, a little, little half flight of stairs would be fun. Um, there's all kinds of places to put this game. So you can put it on a countertop, just about any place you can think of. So there you go.